Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Not quite sure why people want me to film this because it's reasonably obvious, but people have asked, so I will do it. These are the phalaenopsis off the kitchen window sill that have some mealy bugs, some more than others, some probably none at all, but this is a precautionary spray in that instance. Now, this spray has got the most in, so that's the one I'm going to use. Um, it doesn't really matter what it's called, what's important is what's in it. And um, I doubt if this will focus that close. But if you look at the very bottom, you might have to zoom in, that's what's in it. <laughs> and it's a very low dose, very low. So, always, always, always follow instructions. Don't mess. Now this is ready mixed, ready to use. So there aren't really any instructions apart from the obvious. Um, now I'm dodging showers out here. It was raining, I had to wait for it to stop. Also, the temperature has dropped dramatically. It's cold out here. And I haven't got all the plants here, I've got a, some because they wouldn't fit in the tray. Reason for the tray, tray on the worktop in the kitchen, plants from the windowsill to the tray, carry the tray out to here on my workbench, no bending. I know these are not heavy, but bending is a no-no at the moment. So the way I spray, I'm spraying here because there are no flowers, so there won't be any bees. It doesn't say harmful to bees, and at the strength that this is, I doubt if it would kill a bee anyway. <laughs> it's probably only just strong enough to kill the aphids. Anyway, undersides, make sure you get the lot. Aerial roots, and then come round to the top. Doesn't matter if it gets in the leaf joints, that's where they hide. And then what I do is I go right round the base of the plant and the top of the pot. So that's that one done. And then I will put it outside like that. Move to the next one. I'm not going to film all of these. I'm just going to do the ones that uh, I come across first. So again, underside first. Do it as you see it. Be methodical. Get every part of the underside. You have to come at these big wide leaves like this from both sides of the plant. So from this side, then from that side, or you won't get all of it. Leaf joints, top of the pot, base of the plant. Another one done. The only reason I'm putting these down outside the tray is so that I can uh, get at them. <laughs> A tiny little one. So again, underside from this side, and that'll only get half the leaf. So turn it round and do the underside from the other side. If necessary, turn the pot. Make sure you get the lot. This kills in two ways, systemic and contact. So, you know, I'll show you this one. We can come back to this one at another time. See that leaf joint? White, covered in them. Well, they're about to get a bath. Look. Noisy girls. Downside of living near the coast. I'm not actually that near the coast, but um, these type of gulls, the herring gulls, there's a lot of them who've never seen the sea. They nest inland, stay inland, go to recycling centres and places where there's rubbish, feed off of that. So they don't need to go to the coast. And then this big one. I'll have to take the rock off. Mm. 
right. <laughs> this is a big one. Not sure this one's actually got any. But it's a precaution. One way or the other. Right, that's all the ones in this tray done. Now what's the most important thing I'm going to do next? Wash my hands. Spray's gone all over my hands, so I will now go and wash my hands first and priority before I do anything else. These I'm going to take into the grow room to dry off before they go back in the kitchen and then I'll load the tray up with the rest of them and repeat the process with the, the others that are still on the windowsill. And then I will reread the instructions to see how long the gap is between this and the next go. In between these two systemic ones, I'm going to use the other spray I've got, which is a soapy wash contact only killer, not systemic. So it won't interfere with the systemic process but it means these will get a spray in between their two systemic treatments. You might say it's overkill. <laughs> For me, there's no such thing. I want these gone. I want my kitchen free of mealybugs. Anyway, that was asked for. People asked to show that, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.